Uh, I like to use the little scissors. Very well packaged. Boom, big harps. Look at that. Let's take a gander at that. Here we got five of them. They're all the same. Vlad Berezinko out of Ukraine. Ah, Mr. Middleby just attacked me. We got a new cat, a new, a new kitten. Mr. Uh, what's Mitten's full name? Mitten sandwich poop, Jamie, and noodle sandwich. Yes. Uh, Mr. And Jamie, don't forget his last name is Jamie. Oh, what's really? You added a new a new name? Yep, your name's Jamie. That's that's what they say. Let's let's try one of these jaw harps. Look at this. Big jaw. It's as long as my hand. What do you think it's gonna sound like? I don't know. And it's got That's a really big jaw harp. It is. They've got little retention deals. There. Did you unbox the jaw holes? Yep, I unpack it. Well, the unboxing is kind of a broad term for unpackaging. Let's say we pull this out of here. And are you gonna do any more art or are you are you all about watching? I'm watching. Okay, we got this giant big harp. Got a laser, I'd call this a laser cut case. Yeah, it's stained. And a big magnet. Okay. Oh, what do you think that's gonna sound like? Maybe a little. Bassy. Let's let's come on back up here and see what it sounds like. Now, first we're gonna spray it with the mighty mist. That's a cricket. You, you, That's a dead cricket. Yeah, we had many crickets this year. So many. Where do we do? What do we do with the crickets? Now I'm gonna spray with the mighty mist. If you don't have mighty mist, I would suggest just washing with hot, hot soapy water and drying them off in oil. Them is gonna be your best bet. That for, smells good. What's that smell? Oh, what is that? What do you think that smells like? That smells like. Uh, it smells like mint. It's got alcohol in it um, to clean it, oh, but it also smells like mint. This this helps kill alcohol, any germs that are on it. I've heard alcohol before. Oh. You don't want that on your hand. <laughs> yeah. Well, like alcohol can be used to kill germs, but yeah. Let's see, big jaw harp. I like the little laser cutout. Um, it's a it's a screw fixed harp, kind of like a uh, glasrim. I'm completely flat on the front, beveled on the back, milled out glasrim style. Very bassy. Very saturated, very sets of gaps on it. Let's just test the compression. I got pretty decently tight gaps. This is a much, much better harp than when I tried his harps three or four years ago. Yeah, that's that's a that's a pretty decent compression. It's pretty good. With I see the the ends of the frame are slightly curved outward. I like that. That that tells me this harp's gonna play relatively stable. And what tone are we? We're 35 cents below A1 and 440. We'll try 432. I don't think it's 432 either. Done. I've got my tuner here. If I can adjust it, 432. Done. Done. That's A1 432 hertz. So these are, this one at least is a 432 hertz harp. Let's, let's try the inward play. Very good outward play. I, I've got a really small short trigger um, and a little fat area. That's for the ball. Let's try it with the ball in. It's A1 432 hertz with the ball out. The ball does not quite fit in the trigger. Let's just try it with the ball here. About 30 cents below an E1. Let's go ahead, we're gonna get this one. Throw some coconut oil on it. Just store-bought, everyday coconut oil. Oh, we got, the camera's gotta be higher for my hair to account for. This is the way my hair is in the morning. So it is, you are getting me in my original format today. Let's try a different harp. Very saturated. For those who seek saturation and that bouncy double plucking style, I would say these are probably a good bet. Very sensitive. 
really flexible. Let's try another one. We'll just try one more, see where they're at. Yeah! Oh, are you talking to me through the ductwork? Very tight fit out of this hair. There we go. How are you talking to me through the ductwork? How is this being done? Let's see, how should I poke that out of here? I have a Dan Moy handy. Let's, it doesn't, now, he doesn't quite fit the ball in the trigger. We could do this on request, though. Somebody really wanted it in there. Good degree of sound. Let's give her a shot of the Mighty Miss. I don't think I'm gonna play all these. These are going to go uh, to the Harpery.com, uh, Porky Miller, so they will be up. By the time you see this video, they're gonna be up on the website. Get all the alcohol off there. Mighty Mist is great for, it's an instrument mouthpiece uh, cleaner. Um, so it's good for killing germs. Um, but not so good for, you don't want to drink it. So I'd wait, if you're using Mighty Mist, I'd wait for it to dry or wipe it off, give it a good dry. Let's see where we're at with this. This one, again, good tight gaps, a little relief at the end. I like seeing relief, especially in a harp that you want to play fast. Good compression. Okay, that's A1. It's not 432 hertz. So let's see if this is A1 440 hertz. Let's see. Yep, that's A1 440 hertz. So we're playing, I, I just played one in A1 432 hertz uh, scale. This is A1 in the standard scale of 440 hertz. Let's see where we go with it. A little bit of roughness on the trigger, a little bit of sharpness left, especially around the knee bend. Kind of kind of like the Glazer and Harps are, Harps are left as well. They leave those a little bit sharper. A little bit taller of a trigger though, although I'd still say it's a short trigger. Man, that is a juicy harp. Just listen to that. Let's let's take this harp out for a spin. So let's get sustain on it. Mm. I would say I'm not going to play all of these, but I would say they're probably all A1 ish, um, 440 or 432 hertz. Ah, if you're looking for a harp with saturation, a lot of sensitivity, um, oh, let's play with the ball. And I wish he had formed the triggers to accommodate the ball because they don't quite fit all the way in the trigger. I might take a pair of needle nose and see if I can open them up a little bit, but it, they do still stick there. Around F1, F, yeah, I, ooh, I like that. Now I would say, I would recommend these to those who seek uh, that deep saturated, really sensitive sound. Uh, yeah, good harps, um, good screwed reed style harp. I like the sustain, I like the juicy saturation on it. So anyways, we're gonna wrap it up with that. I love y'all, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more harpery. Keep your harps clean, keep them dry, and keep them oiled. Harp out. Do <laughs> you